Hey, what is up, guys? It is Saints Fan, and welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. This is a series we do every Friday showcasing some pretty awesome outfits for your character in GTA Online. Now, sorry for last week. Again, there was the whole cheater pool issue. Like, I'm, I'm really sorry. I know a lot of you guys look forward to this series every week, and, you know, it was just really unfortunate that I couldn't post that. However, this week, we have some pretty interesting and pretty awesome outfits, especially if you guys are fans of Game of Thrones. But anyway... If you have an outfit to submit for next week, let me know in the comment section. Also, real quick, I mentioned this last night on stream. At the end of the video, I'll actually show you guys how to potentially change your character. No, I don't think it works with, like, gender, but, like, change your character's appearance. Go back into that mode or the creator mode, and you can make your character look a little bit nicer than potentially what it is now. But, yeah, I'll tell you guys that at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. But get into the first outfit, we have Hush. And this one's not only by Dante, but this one's by a bunch of you guys who put this in the comment section over the past few episodes. I mean, I guess it is really easy to do. And if you're going for like a bad guy or a villain, then it looks pretty unique. If you guys didn't know who Hush was, though, he's a Batman villain in the comics. So if you guys are a fan of that, then, you know, this would be good for you. But to make this outfit, start with a beige overcoat, then put a charcoal t-shirt and standard body armor underneath it. Also, you can put on black tactical gloves. For the bottom, go ahead and put on black heist pants with the black tactical boots. And then, as you can tell from the head, put on the white duct tape mask. Now again, fairly easy to do villain outfit, especially if you guys are going to go around terrorizing people and role playing that in GTA Online. Might not be for everybody, but I figured I would put it in since a lot of people were submitting it. So there you guys have it with the first outfit. Now coming in with the second outfit, this one is actually somewhat unique because it's not only just an outfit, but it's also a car that was just released with Ill-Gotten Games War 2 that goes with the outfit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is Inspector Gadget. Now to make this outfit, you're going to want to start with a gray overcoat with a white tucked shirt and a navy tie with brown leather gloves. For the bottom, put on navy suit pants as well as gray slip-ons. And then for the head, go with some sort of black hair with a gray fedora. And I'll go ahead and put up a picture on the screen. It, it looks really similar to the outfit, obviously, in the cartoon. But what makes this outfit even more awesome is that you can combine this with a car, the Coil Brawler, in the game. And if you make the primary blue and the secondary white, you sort of have not only the matching outfit for Inspector Gadget, but you also have the car to go with it. So that's why I included it in this because you not only get just the outfit, but you get the car to go with it. So it's it's really awesome to, to mess around with. Now moving into the third outfit, this one is my favorite outfit of all time, I think, in GTA. And if you guys know me, you guys know I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. Like I love Game of Thrones. And Jon Snow is one of my favorite characters. And Croster here, he made Jon Snow in GTA. This is absolutely insane and awesome. If you guys love Game of Thrones too, let me know in the comment section. But this, again, it's not going to look 100% like the show. Obviously, this is GTA. It's a game. It's, it's modern times. And obviously, Game of Thrones is more of like, you know, medieval fantasy stuff. So do take it with a grain of salt. However, this is probably one of the closest looking you know, outfits comparative to the show. So to make it start with all black leather fur jacket, then put a charcoal t-shirt underneath it with black leather gloves. For the bottom, go with black heist pants and black scruffy boots. And then for the head, put on black shaggy hair with black stubble and dark brown contacts and then black natural eyebrows. So this guy went all out, man. He's even including the eyebrows. That's how you know this guy put some time into this outfit. But this is absolutely insane. I'll go out and throw up a picture on the screen of what he looks like in the show. And this is probably as close as you're ever gonna get. I mean, this fur coat, that like that just, I didn't even realize that you could do that when it first came out, but I'm so glad that somebody made this outfit because now this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites to run around in, in GTA. Now moving into the fourth outfit, we have the fireman and this one is probably by far the most difficult outfit I've ever done. It involves so many steps, but in the end, I personally think it looks really cool because it is so unique. You know, you're gonna have a pretty awesome looking character. And I'll go ahead and say just 
the clothes really quick. The top is a black shirt, like a charcoal shirt with a black hooded jacket. Personally, I think the hooded jacket looks better because it looks bulkier than I think the guy originally called for just like a yellow untucked like dress shirt or something. I mean, again, you can change this depending on what you want your fireman to look like, but I think that one looks the best. You put white cotton gloves on with a black parachute. For the bottom, put on Hawthorne cargo pants and black work boots. And then for the head, this is like the freaking hardest part of them all. We're going to glitch the gas mask with the flight suit helmet. Just the flight suit helmet. We're not going to get the, um, the, the tube on it. I mean, you can if you want to, but we're going to do it without it. And in the end, it actually looks really cool. So I'll try my best to explain this. It is kind of difficult. I'll have the gameplay on the screen. Maybe that might be easier for you to understand. So the first step you're going to want to do is get all of the clothes that you want and, and save it as an outfit. Once you have it saved as an outfit, then you're going to go ahead and equip the flight school suit, the black flight school suit. You are going to need a bike for this, so just know that. Once you have the flight school outfit equipped, we're going to go ahead and go into our inventory and we're going to hit the X or the square button or whatever it is on whatever console or platform you're on over the flight school helmet to set it as the helmet that it puts on once we get onto the bike. Once you have that, we're going to switch back to the firefighter outfit that we just saved and then we're going to get on the bike. Now, you should see the guy after a few seconds put on the flight school helmet. If he does that, then you've done it correct. Now, before we save this, what we're going to do to get rid of the flight school tube as he is putting on the helmet, and you have to time this correctly, but as he's putting on that helmet, you're going to want to go to your accessories and hit right once on the glasses. That'll bring up glasses, and you'll have, once he puts the helmet on, you'll have the glasses. Doesn't matter which, because we're going to take them off, plus the flight school helmet with the tube. If you have that, then you have done it correctly. Now, to save this, what we're going to do is go into body armor. We're just going to switch a few of the body armor so it can save. Just wait a few seconds. Sometimes you'll see the orange circle at the bottom right. Then you can back out of the inventory menu. Then we're going to hit start and go to swap characters. Now this should save it. Once you're back up in the swap character menu, just simply click on the same character. It'll put you back into the game. Once you're back in the lobby, go into the store and save this outfit over the first firefighter outfit that we just did. Because now this one has the helmet plus all the clothes. Now to get rid of the tube, if you do not want it on your outfit, all we're going to do is go into our inventory, go into glasses and simply hit left. What that'll do is get rid of the glasses and the tube. Now you can go back into the store and save this outfit. So it's just the helmet, no tube with the outfit that you have. Now, once you have that saved, the last part of this outfit is we're going to get the gas mask to go with it. So to get that, you're going to want to put on one of the heist coveralls. If not, if you have an outfit with this already glitched on there, it, that'll work too. But it, it's just easier if you do the heist coveralls because obviously that has it there. Then we're going to go to a soda machine and we're going to do the same soda machine glitch. You drink it. Once you can pull up the interaction menu about halfway through, we're going to quickly go into the outfits and you're going to want to double tap on the firefighter because if you hit it once, as you see, it puts on the tube, but if you hit it twice, it'll actually get rid of it. So again, really complicated, but hopefully this sort of makes sense. Once you have done that correctly, you will now have the outfit with the mask with the flight school helmet. And now all you got to do is go to the outfit store again and save it one last time. And this will be good. Now, again, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your outfit is correct. So if you don't like the way I have it, maybe you want to change the shirt up top, then you can do that. Maybe you don't even want the hoodie jacket. Maybe you just want the charcoal shirt on because, you know, maybe you want your firefighter to look like that. But this is actually really awesome. And again, like I said, it's not 100% like a firefighter, but but the glitches that we had to do to get this to work makes it really unique it makes it really awesome when people see you're like oh my god what how did you get a flight school helmet without the tube and with this mask on like it's it's really cool and personally i think it looks pretty badass so i know this outfit's kind of long but hopefully you guys like it now moving into the final outfit this one is a female character outfit and again like i've said in previous ones if you guys have any female character or black character outfits be sure to take a picture of the outfit on your character so I can, you know, put that in the video at the end. But anyway, this outfit is Claire from Jurassic World. If you guys have seen the movie, pretty good movie. To make it, though, you're going to want to start with a navy tank top and then put a white blazer on top of that. For the bottom, put on a gray pencil skirt with beige patent heels. And then for the head, a reddish color bob with pinkish sort of lipstick. So as you can see, looks fairly similar to her in the movie. And you can even get one of your friends to 
wear the Chris Pratt Jurassic World outfit that I did a few episodes back. And it'll be a pretty fun, I guess, role play or, you know, whatever you want to do. So I think that'd be pretty cool to go around in GTA Online with. Now that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now, like I said, at the beginning of the video, I do have a way or somewhat of a way to change your character's appearance. Now, I don't think you can actually change the gender with this way. However, I'll let you guys know. And just keep in mind, before I say how to do this, don't abuse this. Don't spam. Don't. I, I don't know. I, re I almost regret doing this because I have a feeling that Rockstar are not going to appreciate this and they might take it away. So do take it in moderation. Like don't, if you're fine with your character, don't, don't submit a request, you know, just let it be for the people who actually need this. So this guy, basically all he did, and it's literally this simple. If you go on the support page and you submit a ticket that says, I'd like to change my character's appearance. They more than likely will allow you the next time you spawn in GTA or the next time you load into GTA, it'll give you the option to change your character. So I know there's a lot of you guys, especially the female characters that look like drug addicts and you don't want them to look like drug addicts. You can try this method and maybe they'll allow you to do it again. Hopefully they don't take this feature away. It seems to be, you know, there's been about 20 or so people I've, I've heard from that have gotten this to work. So definitely give it a try if you are interested. If you don't care, then don't. Again, hopefully they don't take this away. Hopefully they're fine with this, but I'm just trying to help you guys out. Make your characters look, you know, better than what they are. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and drop a like. I know we normally don't go for like light goals or anything, but I don't know, man. This episode, especially that fireman outfit, it took me forever to get right all the steps. So I don't know. Can we go for like 3,000 likes? I don't know. That, that might be a little bit too much, but I think you guys can do it. That'd be amazing if we could hit that. Anyway, subscribe so you don't miss these episodes every Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. See you guys in the next one. And as always, I'm out. Peace.